Gwen Segan told me that episode two is a big one for Burgess and Ruzik. Care to elaborate? If the fan comments are any indication, it's definitely like, let's go. Like, come on. Like, either do this or don't. And I think in episode two, Kim will come to a point where she'll decide whether to do it or not, whether to sort of move forward in a relationship with Ruzik or not. There's a lot more to work on, but it's an exciting move for both of them. Yes. Are you excited that fans will finally get like a definitive answer that's kind of been looming since last season about where they are? I don't are? think any fans are going to be happy until we're like, we've tied the knot to be quick. <laughs> and I don't think that'll happen until like the series finale. But I was actually questioning when every year before the season starts, she sort of checks in with us. And I was just wondering why Kim has been so hesitant and so sort of reluctant to lean into the relationship. And she had talked about how shooting at the end of season eight had really affected Kim in a way that she had not yet understood and that she'll come to sort of understand that it has really fractured her and hurt her. And that has affected her relationship with Ruzik and that she needs to sort of solve herself before she moves forward. I wanted to touch on Paul said leaving because that's a big deal and it feels like it's going to shift the vibe of the unit. So both of you, how do you think your characters will handle a Hall said less intelligence? It's hard. We're like, a, we're a band and so you're breaking up the band and so it's tough. The addition of Ben is a really great dynamic to add to the team. I will miss seeing him and Paul said because I thought they had great chemistry. But, you know, we're going to grow sideways for a little. <laughs> you gonna think we're going to have a conversation one, uh, at least <laughs> before? <laughs> no. Everyone asks how your character would feel and I don't. I feel bad being like, oh, she's not going to feel anything. They don't, they, don't, they don't talk. But Marina feels really poorly. Um, she loves Jesse a lot. So yeah, it will be different and it will be hard. And uh, I hope we find a really cool different rhythm without him. And then Voight, it felt like Halstead would have been a potential successor if Voight had gotten promoted or decided to do something else. So now like, who knows what might happen? Who knows? Do you think uh, there's a new, a potential new successor? Like, who would be the next in line for that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, Boyd's still doing his job. It's a hard thing for all of us in our family at work. Yeah. And uh, but we we move on. We will persevere. But. Uh, it's uh, it's ir it's ir he's irreplaceable, you know. But uh, we have a wonderful new irreplaceable replacement in uh, Benjamin. So uh, we shall see.